hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel today's topic is about creating start date and end date from single date in SAS let's try to understand this title through an example here in here I have a data set which is on the left side this data set has three variables id underscore now x date and I want to talk about id underscore now here id underscore num we have two distinct id underscore nums the first one is one and two i would like to explain this through context of id underscore num as one here when i have id underscore num as one the value of x is 10 and my date is 017-2021 this date is a start date and this value stays till the next start date for the next x value that is in the observation 1 the value is 13.5 and I have 0, 1, 10, 20, 21, which means this value of x10 is there till 0, 1, 9, 20, 21. that is what I want to see here that is I want to convert this date into start date and also I want the end date to be 1 minus of the next date and here you can see the results in here and we want the same logic to be applied to next two observations and we want to see our results like in here. Now I want you to focus on one last observation that is observation number 4 where it is the last id underscore num value for id underscore num 1 wherein we don't have any more id underscore num so here the start date we will keep it as 1 15 20 21 but as we don't have any other dates for this particular id underscore num we will make end date as 12 31 20 99 and this logic will be applied for any other id underscore num now that we have looked into very detailed explanation about the problem, let's look into how we are going to solve. To understand this, first we need to understand couple of concepts. The first and the foremost important concept in here we need to understand is what is merging without a by statement. To understand this, let us look into an example. Here we have two data sets. The first one is data set 1 and the second one is data set 2. And in each data set we have one variable each. For the first data set the variable name is val1. For the second data set it is val2. If you look into these two data sets, these data sets don't have a common by variable so that we can merge them. But we can merge without by variable also and I want you to understand what happens when we merge two data sets without a by statement here i am merging data set one and data set two without a by statement whenever we merge two data sets without a by statement then what it does is it merges according to their observations that is observation number one in the data set one will link to observation one in data set two and observation number 2 will link to the observation number 2 in data set 2 and observation number 3 in data set 1 does not have any counterpart so we will have a missing value this explains the results in here now what we are going to do is we are going to take this logic and we are going to apply this logic to our data set I want you to look into this very carefully and I would like to explain this slide little bit more in detail. Here we are merging the same data set twice. That is the test data set which I have shown you earlier. I am using that twice in my merge statement. And also I want you to look into the first time when I am using the test data set I am saying or I am telling to rename my date variable to start underscore date. Now my test data set is something like this wherein I have id underscore num x and start underscore date. And the second 
test data set which I have mentioned here, I am telling to start from first ops equal to 2, which means I do not want the first observation, but I want to start from second observation. And also, I am renaming id underscore num variable to id underscore num1. And the date variable, I am renaming it to end underscore date. And as I do not want x variable again from second test data set, so I am dropping it. Now, after renaming our variables and also dropping x variable, our second test data set looks something like this. Now, we are going to merge these two data sets or SAS does this. And as I said to you, whenever we merge without a by statement, first observation in the first data set merges with the first observation in the second data set. And it happens till the end as for the sixth observation, we do not have anything in common here. It will have missing values. Now, I want you to look into the result. And before going into the result, I want to tell one important point. That is, in SAS, whenever we want to find a previous value in a variable, we can easily do with the help of lag function. But if we want a next value that is a lead, we do not have a lead function. So whenever we want to find the lead values, more than often we use this kind of strategy wherein we take the same data set twice and the second data set we start from second observation so that we have all the values starting from second observation and then we have our lead values and then we can do whatever calculations we want to do. Now that you can see the result is somewhat closer to what we want, we just need to make couple of changes and then we are all good to go. I am going to paste this result into the next slide and from there I am going to discuss how we are going to get into our final result which we have intended to do. To do that, first I need to look into the result which we get from a simple merge. When I do simple merge, I get the result as follows. In the result in here, I want you to focus on id underscore num when it is just 1 and then we can go into the discussion of id underscore num 2. In here, if we see that we were able to get id underscore num and id underscore num value as same. And here you can see that we have the value of end date as 0, 01 10 2021, 20, which is equivalent to the start date for the next observation for id underscore num. As explained to you earlier, this should have the value of less than one value. So to simply say, whenever this id underscore num and id underscore num1 are saying, I want end date equal to end date minus 1. So the code becomes if id underscore num equal to id underscore num 1, then end underscore date equal to end underscore date minus 1. Now when id underscore num 1 has the last observation, here we have start date as 0, 01 15 20 21 here if you see we have the value of id num1 of 2 and also we have the value of id underscore num 12s value and that is 0, 01 0, 08 20 21 so whenever this id underscore num and id underscore num ones do not match and this happens only when it is a last observation we need to change it into 31 December 2099 and this else logic does that and we are saying else and underscore date 31 December 2099. So whenever these are not same 
this is going to make into 31 December 2099 and you can see that result in here. And same is the case of id underscore num for 2. Whenever it is same, we are going to say do a minus 1. And whereas in the case of id underscore num when it is the last value, it is not going to have any combination for it. And then as id underscore num and id underscore num1 are not same, it will become 31 December 2099 as shown in the result in here. And I also want to tell one another important point before I conclude. We also need to drop this id underscore num1 to get into the result in here. Somewhere in the code I have pasted, I don't see that part. So I am sorry for the mistake in here. But you need to drop id underscore num1. To conclude, by merging the same data set twice and doing some manipulations, especially the second data set or second data set in the merge, I am going to say first op equal to 2. And another manipulation we need to do is whenever our id underscore num and id underscore num1 are same. That is for every other observation than last observation, we want to do a minus 1. If it is a last observation, we are mapping it into 31 December 2099. That's all for this topic. If you have liked this topic, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you.